私は先生です。こんにちは。Let's write some sentences today. And as we go over, I will talk about the usage of pronouns and then honorific titles. Your very first Japanese sentence structure is this. X は Y です。And it means X is Y. The literal translation for this sentence is As for X, it is Y. Let's break down this sentence X は Y です。Step by step. The X here is where you place your topic. You can put different nouns and pronouns, meaning you can change X to anything like I, he, she, it, or people's names. And then that's the topic you will talk about. By switching out X with different nouns and pronouns, you can make different sentences with different topics. And this hiragana, ha, is pronounced as wa and is a particle. The particle shows the relationship between words and a unique grammatical feature to the Japanese language. This particle wa is called a topic marker, and then whatever the noun before of this particle is the topic of a sentence. In the why part of the sentence, you can place nouns or adjectives. For instance, with a noun, you could construct a sentence like you are a teacher. Alternatively, if you choose to use an adjective such as beautiful, then you can say a sentence like you are beautiful. However, in today's lesson, we will primarily focus on using nouns in the Y slot. The use of adjectives in this structure will be explored in the future lessons. The last part of the sentence is des, and it is an auxiliary verb. In English, this be verb changes its form depending on the subject, but in e in Japanese, it's always the same. At the end of the sentence, you place the period mark. And Japanese period mark is a small circle like this, and you put it right here. Now, that's the breakdown of this sentence structure, X wa y desu. Okay, let's start making some sentences. Now, to begin with, let me compare these two sentences. Number one, why this? Number two, x wa why this? The difference is this part. Sentence number two, the topic is stated, but sentence number one, the topic is omitted. In English, to have a complete sentence, you have to have a subject. But in Japanese, the topic, which is a subject part of the sentence, is often omitted and sometimes it sounds more natural without topic. So sentences without subject or topics are very common in Japanese. Japanese speakers tend to omit subjects whenever they think it is clear to the listener what or who they are referring to. To say I am a teacher, the topic here is watashi. There are many pronouns to call yourself in Japanese, but the word Watashi is used by both males and females, so I can say Watashi wa sensei desu. 
And when I think that everybody knows that I'm talking about myself, then I can omit the topic word, watashi wa, and just simply say, sensei desu. Now, do you remember this phrase when you do your self-introductions? I introduce myself as this. Hajime mashite, Johnson desu. This second sentence is the example of that sentence number one. Johnson des. I did not say watashi wa Johnson des. Because I know that everybody understands that I'm talking about myself when I introduce myself. Now, the more words you know, the more sentences you can create. So let's use this sentence structure and you can replace why here with different nouns as you talk about yourself. Let's pretend that you're doctor. The word for doctor is isha. Please say, I am a doctor. So this, watashi wa isha desu. Let's say you're a college student. You know the word for college student? Go ahead. So this, watashi wa gakusei desu. Or you can say daigakusei desu. Okay, how about this one? I am American. How do you say that? Watashi wa amerika jin desu. Let's change the topic to Tanaka-san. Please write two sentences. Number one, Tanaka-san is a teacher. You may pause this video if you need more time. Tanaka-san is a teacher. Number two, Tanaka-san is Japanese. Tanaka-san is Japanese. どうですか書けましたか Now, this is the answer. Tanaka-san は先生です。Tanaka-san は日本人です。So, we talked about Tanaka-san just now. This son is the same as Mr. Mrs. or Miss in English, and we attach this son after their names. And it is a gender neutral and it can be used in both formal and informal settings. Um, sama, you will probably hear this when you go to Japan and to a store, clerk, store clerk will address you with sama to show more formal and respectfulness to you if they know your last name. All right, and then there's another version, chan, that we use for small children, close friends and family members, or to our pets. To um, chan conveys a sense of cuteness. So I have a pet cat Q, his name is Q, and I call him Q-chan. I have a pet dog. Her name is Olive, and I call her O-chan. Um, my uncles and aunt, they call me still today Moyo-chan, because of course I was once a cute little girl. Now, other than San and Sama, we often use person's title, such as sensei or shacho president. And then that is also appropriate and respectful. Um, for example, if you have a teacher whose name is Tanaka, you can address him as Tanaka sensei. And if he is the uh, uh, president of the company, you can say Tanaka Shacho, which means President Tanaka instead of Tanaka-sama. 
And that's a very common way to addressing people, especially in a professional setting. However, it is crucial to use the correct and relevant title. You don't want to call Tanaka Shacho in a different title when in fact he is the president of the company. One more very important rule to remember. Those titles and san and sama are used to address others to show the sign of respect or politeness. So you do not use them to your own name. So remember the uh, introduction phrase I said hajime mashite Johnson desu. I did not say Johnson sensei desu. In English, you can say Hi, I'm Moyo Sensei, and it's fine. But in Japanese, you say Moyo des. You don't put Sensei to yourself. Um, so it goes the same with the word son. Let's say your name is Lisa, and if you want to introduce yourself, you say Hajime Mashite Lisa des. You don't want to say Lisa san des to address yourself. So please remember that. Okay, let's go back to our sentence structure again. I want you to remember this new counter which shows which grade you are in school. So the counter to show the year student is nensei. So if you're a freshman, you say ichi nensei. If you are a uh, sophomore, second year student, you say ni nensei. Third year is san nensei. If you're senior or fourth year student, you say yo nensei. So knowing all that, let's see how do you say this? How do you say, I am the second year student? So this, watashi wa ninensei desu. Or simply, you can say, ninensei desu, if the audience know that you're talking about yourself. それでは、トピックを変えましょう。Let's change the topic to your major. How do you say, my major is Business. Senko wa business des. Senko wa business des. Then how do you say your major is history? Senko wa lekishi des. I desu ne. Now let's learn how to create a question sentence because it's fairly easy to create. Yes, no question sentence in Japanese. All you have to do is to add ka at the end of the sentence. So let's take a look. So all you need to do is add ka at the end. So let's ask this question Are you a college student? So the statement is Daigakuse desu. And you just add ka at the end. Now notice that you don't need to add any question mark at the end of the sentence because this hiragana ka is a question expression particle. Okay, and then you use the raised intonation only at the end. So it goes like this. Daigakusei desu ka? Daigakusei desu ka? Okay. Let's practice with this sentence. Suzuki-san is a second year student and then you want to turn this into a question sentence. How do you ask that question? Suzuki-san wa ninensei desu ka? Suzuki-san wa ninensei desu ka? 
。いいですね。それでは、このセンテンスを言ってください。Please say this sentence in Japanese. 鈴木さんは先生ですかいいですね。じゃあ、このセンテンスを言ってください。Please say this one in Japanese. はい。田中さんは日本人ですかいいですね。Um, I want to mention one more thing about pronouns. That's the usage of this word, you. In Japanese. in Japanese, the word you is anatta and it's often omitted in the conversation. And you don't want to address somebody who is older than you are or somebody's in a higher position than you are as you. You'd rather use their titles or names. So, um, Be careful when you address somebody who's older than you are. Please avoid the word anata because it can sound pretty con condescending. In this case of this question, are you Mr. Tanaka?、Um, you can、uh, simply ask this way Tanaka san desu ka? And then if the person is、um, really a Tanaka san, then he or she would respond as はい、田中です。Or, はい、そうです。Let's practice asking questions without using the word あなた。So, how do you ask this question? Are you Mr. Suzuki? You can simply say, Suzuki さんですかそうです。How about this one? How do you ask this question? Are you first year student? はい、1年生ですかいいですね。So now that you know how to ask questions, let's learn how to respond to those yes no questions as well. Now ask me this question Are you Japanese? How do you ask that question to me? Yeah, you might want to avoid the word anata. So you say, 先生は日本人ですか And if the answer is yes, I will say, はい。はい means yes. You can also say, え。And、uh, in a casual speech, I would say, うん、for yes. And if the answer is no, I would say, いいえ。Or yet for short, I can say うん in a casual speech. But this か question sentence is a yes no question sentence. So you must start your answer with either yes, hi, or no, yet. Well, lastly, please ask me this question. As for your major, is it Japanese? So, this, 専攻は日本語ですか And then I would respond, はい、そうです。Or, はい、日本語です。いいですね。Good job! In today's lesson, you wrote your very first Japanese sentence. You also studied how to ask yes no questions and how to answer them. So, good job! Now, in my next episode, I will explain how to compose a negative statement. And today's lesson and next episode should go hand in hand. So, please subscribe and then don't miss out. I'll see you soon. Say na na!